Exactly. Literally is out here with the. I don't know what skin that is. The. Warring Kingdoms. Warring Kingdoms. Warring Kingdoms. Literally skin. That's her Dynasty Warriors skin. She's a Dynasty Warriors character. That's the skin. Them nasty warriors. <laughs> Them nasty warriors. <laughs> That's like <laughs> a strip club. <player. laughs> <laughs> Next to the Z exhibit. <laughs> Alright, so we're on the rift now. And Cody on the Nidalee. This I really is in my face. Alright. Laying down the traps. Hussein is gonna be his opponent today. That who kid. Went down to Phil in his last match, but he's looking for some redemption. He's on a champion he's much more comfortable on. But he also allowed Cody to get the Nidalee. So I have personally seen Nidalee carry games when played by Cody. But I have also seen games carried by Hussein on Ezra. So we should be in for a good one. No poke has been thrown out thus far. Nidalee's laid the traps down. And she begins to farm. What is that mana region? What are you, a mana region room or something? <laughs> Alright, so we're getting going here. There's a small CS lead already being established, but the boat going off. The dodges. Pretty subdued level one. Not too much aggression coming out from these guys. Hussein's starting to pick up some CS now. Right now? Oh no, this probably be Mister, you're not supposed to push the wave. I don't know if you are. I'm not trying to, I'm just practicing. Alright, so level 3 has been reached by both combatants right now. The... I just had a lag spike. Did he just miss the cannon? I'm not sure. Yeah, it looked like he did. Alright, so all the traps have expired. And Hussein is pushing... Cody in. See if he can take advantage of that. Neither one of these champions has the most immaculate way of play. They're just going back and forth right now. Like I said, a pretty laid back game, but a nice CS advantage has been etched out on one side. This has been pretty typical of Cody's style thus far this season. Farm it out. Hussein with the level 5. He dodges out on the spear, gets the CS. Looks pretty good. And continuing to be pretty slow. I have a feeling it'll pick up when they start to get some items. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Nice pickup there. 
Missed that one. Both of them need to keep their eye on their mana. Champions have hit level 6. Will we see some fireworks now? That remains to be seen. And Italy is going to do the pounce. Not too much damage, but a one trade there. And Ezra ults the wave, gets it pushing. Somewhat in his favor, and Italy ate the cue for the minion there. And he is landing pretty good pulse though, pretty consistent. Both champions are very low on mana. that feel though. <laughs> oh, the minions really worked in who, who kid's favor there. Snooze fest in the mid lane. <laughs> when will these guys pick it up? So Hussein looks like he's the first one being forced to recall. Cody will try to take advantage. Getting some good damage on the t some some okay damage on the tower. I feel like he's slightly overstaying, but we'll see. Hussein coming back with the next oh thinning out the wave, but still will miss some of these minions, if not all of them. But it actually wasn't a bad ult because now he can push the wave and make Nidalee miss some minions. Ezra landing a good poke before Nidalee can even get to the tower. Now Nidalee missed a lot of minions there. Things are getting intense. One side is definitely threatening to win from far. That sustain is bullshit. Oh, the poke has been landed. The ignite has been dropped. But good return damage by the Who Kid. However, he's low on mana. Nidalee still has tons of it. Another all-in like that could be his the last thing he does in this game. Who Kid's looking like he's in trouble. But he is consistently landing the poke. This is where you can see how comfortable he is on the champion.
Who kid's gonna play this one safe? I don't have the mana to freaking do this right now. <laughs> yeah. Nidalee's pushing it to the tower, and it's gonna take some massive damage. Especially with the Sheen. And Hussein does the smart thing, eliminates the wave. It's getting really close though. goes in. He's missing all the CS to the tower. The Nidalee's going to play it safe. He doesn't want to spoil his game. And he feels he has won. Good poke. The flash in. Hussein escapes because he has free flashes. He usually burns the heal. Now he's in decent shape to fight. Hussein is not playing like no bitch. He's gonna keep this one going. Nidalee's low on mana, but Hussein is extremely low on health. And he doesn't have much time. Nidalee could possibly win on this wave. What's gonna happen? He throws the ult down. Nidalee gets really low. But potions are going. And that's 100 CS. Game. 